The use of violence in contemporary Zimbabwean politics has become a fabric of political culture which successive political systems are failing to dismantle. We don't want in intimidation in the country. Zimbabwe is not a company, it's a country for black people. Kana Tirimunika Batema, Aditel, Chitema Chedu, Tichukutana, Paraguana, Norbana, Chukunga, Chawana, Zinone, Maragani Sika, Chauno Kayu. We don't want intimidation in this area. The energy and eagerness of young men to participate in electoral processes has been misdirected towards competing with their female counterparts in intimidatory tactics such as singing and dancing at political rallies. Also, there has been claims of some who acted as informers and snitched on others, resulting in those unfortunate losing their lives and properties. Today, the quarrels continue unabated in communities as the wounds have failed to heal. However, there is a window of opportunity in using sport as a means to national healing. It enhances the information dissemination uh, to young people, given that they will be sharing information to do with their development. Uh, at the same time, it will be also an opportunity that you will get to see some of the youth who come from marginalized communities. In this breath, yet with funding from Diaconia and working with partner organizations has held sports tournaments that bring together youth from various political persuasions at community level. Ball games are ideal in bringing people together, crossing all boundaries and opening new dialogue. Many of the core values of sport are parallel to those necessary for peace such as respect, justice and honesty. Friendships are formed on the field as young people work together to avoid defeat while the applause and ululation on the sidelines will bring community members together as they cheer their favorite team to victory. As the referee blows to end the match, it is not the winning that matters, but the sweat and pain has actually paid off as for once at the energy has been directed not to destroying relationships but to actually form new ones. Since December 2009, YET has trained 154 community-based peace builders who continue to work on voluntary basis under the title of Peace Ambassadors. Oh, the role of the Peace Ambassador is mainly to bring uh, young women from different political parties and we want to bring them together and then she could be the mediator on bringing them together to so that the community best tournaments will culminate into a national tournament where winners will converge, building a national opportunity for youth advocacy and information dissemination on peace through sport.